nowadays is male infertility and we also find it difficult to treat a male infertility you know that so what are the commonest causes you see when you when a man comes to you as you mentioned uh, male infertility actually constitutes 40 percent of all the cases of infertile couples who come to us so it is a significant problem to address most of the times male infertility in children were the, it is mostly because of the lifestyle factors um, uh, which we see these days uh, because of the, uh, the kind of globalization that has happened. Um, factors like smoking and uh, excessive alcohol consumption, not diet. Uh, in diet, not having good physical activity, probably spending uh, long hours in, in front of uh, uh, computers, not uh, you know, recognizing that maintaining a good healthy lifestyle also translates to reproductive health. Most of the people actually end up in clinics seeking uh, uh, treatment. In the Mari Vishetla, lifestyle factors nala utarka male infertility problem varadina, they are quite uh, reversible because once you stop doing what you've been doing for the past couple of years, there's definitely bound to some, be some improvement uh, in the parameters. Usually males can pathina, we just use one uh, para, one uh, semen analysis and the report path will again. Just one test to say everything is normal or not normal Definitely. Like, uh, semen analysis. Definitely. Other panni, other count, motility of the sperm would appearance of the uh, plus a legal infection in the Mari parameters path, this will usually give us some kind of an indicator on history of the mm -hmm. motility come here and maybe because smoke under the motility come here club. Ill count the other person and the test is the other problem. Ill the sex hormones the other problem. Adanala and the motility la problem. I think medications also, right? Sometimes they might be taking some medications, prescription like medications, antidepressants, uh -huh. and anti epileptic drugs sometimes can cause. Uh, Problems and the count and the motility can be affected. And uh, other surgical corrections do we think of? Um, usually in the Madhuri, uh, surgical corrections we will be thinking of infections. If you have a sperm, you will be able to get a sperm. Sometimes we have patients coming up with either low sperm counts or sometimes even nil sperms in their uh, sample. We also have tests available. clear patient suggest history and physical examination and also imaging techniques Scans are available. Uh, scrotum the problem problem scan the manifestations we can probably give them a good plan. And also sometimes very early a problem is clear. And the other one is clear. Now sometimes if that the chinna vessel adipotent form, adipotent is just this is clear. Or the chinna vessel that the hernia hydrosis that the surgery is clear. Or if that the marabunu ring that the problems now that when they are going to very well that the chinna size layer form. And the mari issues that wind or putting that it may be either reduced or it may be totally absent. And the mari conditions are identified. But now based on what what condition is causing that problem, we will be able to give them. A good solution. I think whenever we look into childhood problems, I think we need to go in for genetics also. Right? Definitely. So whenever the boy has a problem from the childhood, we should also check of uh, about the genetics of the child. And most of the time, do we treat a genetic issue? Uh, genetic issue, no, varum bode problem inna hona. We have to make a distinction between our sperm use under the future la avangala pora pora kondiki and the genetic problem transfer ahuma ahada angirathu ahada indha vachathula we can always give them a chance because everybody wants to conceive with their own gametes biological if at all there is even a minimal chance that they can use their own sperms uh, in the presence of a genetic condition we can always explore that but and the condition irukku and the kondiki and the transmit aha vaippu irukku Especially or conditions like the Y chromosome conditions like that. If you have any kind of chance, if you have any kind of future, like period, or another problem, under wind, or another problem, or another wife, or another, we can always give them the option, and they can take an informed decision whether they want to use their own sperms. But genetic issues like problem in our own, we need to carry care of the appearing or the or another period question. Most of the time we see them as an AUS sperm count. Completely no sperm count is called AUS sperm count. And most of the time in a genetic issue we see this. And this is the most toughest for us to treat also. And the dilemma to whether to use 
இந்த ஸ்பேர்ம்ஸ் கிடைக்குமா கிடைக்காதா கிடைச்சா அதை யூஸ் பண்ணலாமா ஃபியூச்சர்ல அந்த குழந்தைக்கு அது டெஃபினட்டா ஹண்ட்ரட் பர்சன்ட் வராதாங்கிற அந்த கொஸ்டின்ஸ் எல்லாம் வந்து கிவ்ஸ் அஸ் நைட் மேஸ் லிட்ரலி But uh, still, uh, we we have exhaustive testing available with which we can guide. Nowadays we have this TISA, MISA and uh, micro TISA, after which at least we are able to search for one or two sperms and find out those sperms and then use it for IVF and C. And I think we are able to give a baby somehow even for this azospermic uh, men. So whatever the problem could be, whether it's because of your count less or whether your motility is less, whether your healthiness of the sperms that is the morphology is less or you don't even have any sperms in your uh, seminal ejaculate we do have a solution for whatever the issue is uh, so don't hesitate whatever may be the problem i think you should seek a doctor's help thank you